Hey guys, here's a recipe for my really quick and easy and really, really delicious spaghetti carbonara. So first you need two eggs. You need one whole egg cracked into a bowl. And then the second egg you want to separate in another bowl and add the yolk to the other egg. And then put the whites aside, you can save it for meringues or an egg white omelette or something. <laughs> and then add about half a cup of finely grated Parmesan cheese and two tablespoons of double cream. Salt and pepper. And whisk everything together until it's very well combined. So when that's done, set it aside and then bring a big pot of water to a rolling boil. Add some salt and then throw in about 200 grams of um, spaghetti. So this recipe serves two, so 200 grams makes a nice generous serving for each person. Swirl it around a little bit and just let it cook according to the packet instructions. What I like to do is take it off the heat about a minute before it says on the packet just to make sure it's al dente. In a big pan, heat about a tablespoon of olive oil and add about four rashers of chopped bacon and just let it cook for about five minutes or so until it's golden brown but not too crispy or burnt. So the bacon I used was a honey cured bacon and it, it did caramelize a little more than I would have liked but it's not actually burnt, it's just caramelizing a lot faster. Add the bacon and the chilies and then by this point the spaghetti should be ready and um, just add it into the pan. I usually just lift it out of the boiling pot straight into my pan with the bacon. So just stir it well until it's combined and all the spaghetti strands are coated in the oil and the bacon fat and all the yumminess. Add the egg parmesan mixture and then take it off the heat. Because I'm using an electric cooker, I actually lifted the pot off, but if you're using gas, just turn the heat off and stir it until it's very well incorporated. So you wanna make sure all of the spaghetti is nicely coated. And if you want, you can add a little bit of the pasta water to loosen it up a little bit if it's getting too sort of um, claggy. And that's it, your carbonara is ready. Serve it into a nice warm bowl. Um, a nice pile of it and top with some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And there you go, quick and easy. It literally takes 10 minutes from start to finish. I know the addition of fresh chilies into carbonara isn't actually traditional but I really love it it was my husband's idea actually at first I thought he was it was a terrible idea but I tried it and it was really delicious and I've been making it this way ever since so if you like your food with a little bit of a kick try it with the chilies it's really really good so yeah this is my recipe for a really quick and easy carbonara I hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching take care bye